Hey, this is Kenneth Winspaziani. If I'm streaming myself drumming, basically that means I'm letting you all in on the recording process. It's all going from my Roland VTOR into addictive drums and all that MIDI data is being stored. So I can quantize it, I can fix errors, and I build a MIDI library. For example, I go from a more complex tom groove. From there, we get into this kind of dancey. And you could just imagine this sexy bass line right there, and it's just this cool dancey vibe bit. And then I transition into this kind of Nine Inch Nails drum beat that you can just kind of loop the almost the entire time minus a few fills. And then we go into this jazz part and these could be three different songs, right? We make it heavier. Ten seconds of them, it's in our library. It gives me like a pretty hectic drum beat, which I can change the tempo of, quantize, give it swing. I, I can do so many things. That transitions into another Nine Inch Nails style drum beat, which was just an, uh, a variation on the drum beat from earlier. So all I gotta do is split that, drag it into the library for that Nine Inch Nails vibe song that I'm working on, and there's another drum beat that I can put as, you know, C1 or C2. I hope this explains the uh, mindset behind the way that I drum when I'm live streaming on kick.com slash AEWind and twitch.tv slash AEWind. Peace and thank you all for being born. See you later.